Hi guys, it's Tony. Today we are going to create this awesome animation that you can use in your website without any code. And to do that, we only need to use only one simple Figma plugin. So let's get started. So this time we are going to start in Figma. I have this empty project in place in here. And first, what we can do is go to the plugin panel on top. Uh, select the colors plugin so we can pick our color palette what we're going to use for the animation you can basically use whatever color palette you want but let's just take this from here and press on the add colors to document and we have this nice palette in place and the next step is that you want to open the noise and texture plugin and this is basically where the magic happens so let's go here and let's select the animated and as you can see here's like many different types of animations which you can all use but let's focus on this first one and i'm not even going to try to say the name of that one let's go to wavy one for us and then we want to just first change the colors but i think that the color picker is not working here yeah it's not so what we want to do is select the colors from here so select the rectangle go to fill just copy the color and then let's paste it here let's take the next one copy paste a bit lighter one copy paste press one with a bit darker values and here we go then if you want to change background color you can go here but like use the background that you're going to use in your website so they will blend in together nicely and here you can like play around with different values let's perhaps increase a few more waves in there let's uh, increase the thickness a bit here you can like stretch it in x and y axis but i think well we can leave it like this let's increase a blur a bit actually perhaps we could like also add a few waves there let's make it a bit slower so it's a bit more relaxed and yeah i think it starts to look kind of nice and then we want to go to the bottom and press from the export button and here you can see that we have the code selected let's increase the way uh the width a bit uh 1800 should be pretty good and if you want to use this in the framer website you can use this iframe embed if you want to copy the React code, you can just copy it from here, JSON code from here. But for this uh, tutorial, we are going to use it in frame site. So let's just copy it from here. Let's press copy. And that's basically what we have to do in Figma. And then we want to open the framer. Here's basically what our final result will be, but let's create a new page. And let's go to the insert menu and search for the embed component which you can drag and drop in there then let's go to the html here and just copy paste the code we just created with the noise and texture plugin and as you can see it already like works kind of nicely so this is basically like how we can like just easily copy paste it the framer but if we want to actually like make it a bit better looking as a like total website. We can go to the insert menu again. We can pick like, let's pick a new section here. Set a height to be viewport. Make sure that these are also set to viewport. We can change fonts in here. We don't need that one. And let's actually remove that one as well. That can be as it is. And in here, as you can see, that's like dashed. We know that it means that there's some fill in place. So let's remove the fill. And if you go to layers menu, we want now actually take the embed component we just had and copy paste it to this image layer in here. And we can even call this like plugin or whatever we want to do. And as you can see now, the background is not matching with the image so i think we should have a 
fill layer somewhere in here. Let's find it and delete it. And here we go. And now you can see that it's not actually flowing quite nicely. You can modify the width and everything from here. But what we actually want to do is let's go to plugin and let's rotate that for 90 degrees. And as you can see, it already flows kind of nicely in here. And now what we can do is just like basically edit the page. So let's add a button for our remix button in here, which you can find from the description below. And you can remix this for free and get an access to all of these files I've created. And basically what you can do now, press on the publish, update, and as you can see, here's basically our website we just created. And last steps basic for you is just to modify the site to match your wish and decide what you want the page to look like. But our final form or page should be basically something like this. So if we take this one open from here, I think the page was called noise animation, the framer of website. And you can achieve these different cool results super easily. And there's also a remix link included in here. So feel free to remix this file for free and use it however you want to. But this was basically it this time. So if you like the video, feel free to like it. If you want to see more, more of these videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you enjoyed everything and let's see you again in the next video. Thanks a lot.